I'm Anthony with HJM's Tech Expert Series. In this series, we cover all the important information you need to know about your new e-bike. Today, we're going to be going over the speed and power FAQ. When you first turn on your LCD screen, you'll see a few things. You'll see your battery life, the current speed of your bike, and the current miles on your trip, along with your pedal assist. They can go all the way up to five, and all the way down to zero with no assist. You can cycle through more information by pressing I on the handlebars, seeing your average speed, time left on the battery, mileage overall, and your max speed. To access our walk assist feature, long press the walk button for two seconds and the bike will move forward at a speed of three and a half miles per hour. The power will cut off once you release the button. You can change the pedal assist output on your e-bike by using the plus and minus buttons on the handlebars. The least amount of pedal assist you can have is one and it works all the way up to five. We recommend that you use the electrical assist when you're taking off, getting uphill, or overloading as the extra weight will affect the steering, braking, and balance more than usual. When you're pushing the bike or moving the bike around, make sure to turn off the bike to avoid accident caused by the unintentional use of the electrical power. And if you'd like no pedal assist, you can turn your assist button to zero. Party bikes have a mile range of 20 miles when using just the throttle. If you're using pedal assist while pedaling, you can have a range of up to 50 miles. We use a 750 watt brushless gear hub motor. The peak torque output is fast, the maximum torque output range is wide, and the low torque state also has good acceleration performance. To check and see if the motor is working properly, all cable connectors are tightened up, the screws to mount the motor and torque arm and fittings were tightened up as well. If you're experiencing uneven acceleration, you're gonna to wanna to check a few things. First, make sure that your battery level isn't too low. Check the connections of the wires in all the different places, as well as checking to make sure that the battery is tightly fit. If you're still experiencing uneven acceleration, contact your HGM support team and they'll take care of you. If you find the motor making a weird noise, double check to make sure all the components and cables are tight and fastened. If you're still hearing a weird noise, consult your local bike mechanic. In order to master your bike, we recommend you get familiar with how the power assist responds before going 100% on your bike. We always recommend using a fair amount depending on the road conditions, but we also recommend using the least amount of power as possible before moving up in power. That's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one.